Here's an example. A right triangle has legs of length 6 and 8. Find the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, just make a quick sketch here of a right triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but label the sides. One leg is length 6 and one leg is length 8. And rem remember, the legs are the two sides that are not the hypotenuse. So don't label the hypotenuse 6 or 8. What we're trying to do is find the length of the hypotenuse. Well, we know a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, we have 6 and 8, and we'll call the hypotenuse h. So the Pythagorean theorem applied to this particular situation would just say 6 squared plus 8 squared equals h squared. And we can use this to find h. Let's work out the squares here. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. So 36 plus 64 is h squared. And 36 and 64 add up to 100. 100 is equal to h squared. And you should be able to see that if 100 is equal to h squared, then h is equal to 10, just the square root of the 100. So we found the length of the hypotenuse, 10. And we've also found another Pythagorean triple, 6, 8, 10. Here's another example. In this one, the numbers don't work out to nice, neat, round integers. That's okay. The Pythagorean theorem still applies. Here we're told that a right triangle has legs of length 5 and 7. So let's draw this. So that's length 5 and 7. And we need to find the length of the hypotenuse, so we'll call it h. So a squared plus b squared is c squared. That concept applied here would be 5 squared plus 7 squared equals h squared. And these squares we can do in our head. 5 squared is 25. 7 squared is 49. So 25 plus 49 is h squared. Now we add 25 and 49, we get 74. h squared is 74. That means h is equal to the square root of 74. And 74 isn't a perfect square, so I pull out my calculator. And when I do the square root of 74, I get about 8.6. If you want to, you can write it like this. That means approximately equal to 8.6. Um, I'm not going to require that you use that little symbol. When we write 8.6 here, we understand in a situation like this, where we don't have a perfect square, these decimal places really go on and on forever. When we stop after one digit, we understand that we're rounding there to the nearest tenth. This is really 8.6023 and so on. We'll just round it to 8.6. So that's our answer, the length of the hypotenuse.